Hi all and welcome. Well, today I have a leak. Well, I've had a leak for a while, but today I'm going to fix it. Here it goes. Well, good morning everybody. Well, you've joined me this morning. Well, she's got to see all that. And we are, um, I don't know, in the east of Another downside of living in the van is when you have problems, you can see by my roof here, um, you have to deal with them. It makes things really hard when you're living in it as well. Oh, well, I've got a leak on my roof, obviously, thanks British weather, lovely. Um, to find the leak, I've ended up having to take my ceiling down, as you can probably see. So you could come around. Um, to find out where the actual water is coming from. I've actually found, I've actually found out where the water is coming from now. And um, it's coming from this, which is actually my aerial. It comes through the roof. I don't know if the video is good enough to get in there, but there, can you see that? Where the aerial, end of the aerial, this bit, comes through the roof. Oh God, it's cold in here. Um, run out of diesel as well helps then it so i've got to pop out in a minute get some diesel because it's absolutely freezing in here as you can see by the smoke coming out of my mouth um everything's wet leak's been a nightmare i can't believe the amount of water that's come through that little hole i've got stuff everywhere in my van um it's just everything's just a mess but anyway on the plus side um i know where the leak is so um now i'm gonna fix the leak and hopefully um yeah what i think i'll do is i'll probably end up fixing the leak or trying to fix the leak and i'm not going to put the ceiling back up today i just have to live with it like this um leave it a couple of days because we're bound to get some more weather it's been quite dry today to be honest cold but dry but um we're bound to get some more wet weather so um i'm gonna wait until we get a next weather spell and then see if the leak's actually fixed before I put the ceiling back up, which is a bit of a pain because the state of my van is just, you know, I have to find somewhere to put put this wood so it's out of the way because at the moment um, I'll give you a shot of my bed and this is my problem because obviously I've been catching water from the drip when I've took the ceiling down, it's been dripping and that. So my bed is a bit full, but um, yeah. Oh well, van life, eh? Love it. Well, that was the hole that the air will come through. Just a quick bodge here, because I've ended up taking the aerial off. Oops, excuse my finger, because I've ended up taking the aerial off. It mounted it. Oh, let's close this roof down, because it's bloody cold enough as it is, without that all cold air in. Um, yeah, the aerial was sheared off the mountain, so this wasn't actually making a tight seal anymore. Um, this bit here. That's the inside with this bit joined to it. And then it screws onto this, but as you can see, it's all gone. So, um, yeah, so obviously that was the hole. This is the inside of it. Bit crappy. But there you go, that's what's caused all these problems. So, I've done a um, quick temporary budge. I've took my area out. Um, as you can see, bolt shed, and I've put a two pence piece over the hole and sprayed some sort of bitumen kind of product just quickly over the top of it to seal it. Um, I've actually used this stuff um, instead of silicon, it's just a bit easier. And look, basically, I've just put a two pence piece over the hole, sprayed some of that on it. That will make it like a rubbish seal over and it should be waterproof until I can get a new mounting for my aerial. So my dilemma now is what now what do I do? Um I have to make my van somehow so I can sleep. Oh 
I love van life. I really do. Um, it's not all doom and gloom though. Sometimes it's really good. Just, and this bloody weather doesn't help. It's freezing cold. At least, at least today it hasn't rained, which isn't, is, you know, it's a bonus, isn't it, really? But, um, yeah, it's still cold. So, hopefully leak fixed now. I'm going to leave my bowl there. I've got a bowl there on my bed. And right under the leak, where the leak was, just to check. And I'm going to spray a bit more of this stuff, give that 20 minutes to dry. And then spray a bit more on top. Um, just to make sure that's definitely sealed. And then, um, yeah, in the meantime, I'll try and get my van in some sort of order. Because it's a bit upside down at the moment. And there's stuff everywhere. It's not... Mm, well it is i was going to say it's not actually that bad it's just because it's a little space it looks like it's that bad but you know what i'd be lying because it is that bad <laughs> speak you soon well a little bit more digging around as i'm i covered me another leak i didn't think all that water would come from one little leak this is rotten i've just pulled this bit out but it seems like i have a leak in this corner and i have a leak in this corner of the skylight um so that's not good so now i'm gonna to have to take that out but at least i found that now hmm the map gave it away i was wondering why my map was wet over in that corner so i was wondering where the water was coming from to get you know i knew the leak was here but that's over here and it's quite a distance from there to the map so i was wondering how the water was getting there which led me to uncover this here um, the skylight, I can actually honestly say, um, yeah, as I was saying, the skylight, I can actually honestly say, it wasn't down to me because when I bought this van, um, this skylight was already in it and me being me, I just thought, oh well, and I just worked around it, put the roof up and all that. Silly me really, I should have checked it and made sure it was okay because it looks like it has been leaking for quite a while. As you can see, so maybe it's been leaking the whole time and just because everything was sealed with this foil, you know, the water had nowhere to go. It was always behind the water. Oh, the water was always behind the foil. It's still dripping, so it's definitely from this corner. Um, so yeah, so a bit of advice for everyone out there. If you buy a van and you're going to kit it out and it's got a skylight in it, it might be advisable to check the skylight doesn't leak or take the skylight out or refit it which is what I'm now going to have to do with this one it's now going to have to be removed and um it would replace because it's rotten it's been obviously wet for a while it's very rotten, rotten. so it um, would replace and be sealed and put back in so that's another job to add to my list <sighs> the joys As you can see, I've removed the hatch, cleaned off all the silicone from the rim, all the way around. Oh, I'm, all, I'm doing this, it's just about going to start to rain in, it's getting dark, so I'm not doing a lot of filming, I'm just sort of getting on with it. But just a quick bit to show you that I've removed the hatch, removed all the silicone, there's a lot of it. As you can see, it's bloody everywhere. Um, and now I'm going to clean up the hatch bit and then. Hopefully get it back sealed. Old mess. It's everywhere. Bloody leak. Right, well, I've cleaned the frame up. Got rid of all the silicone. And now I'm going to use this. Um, butyl tape. B-U-T-L-Y, I think, or Y-L. Butyl tape. So I'm just going to stick that all the way around the roof now. Well frames in it's re-screwed in resealed i would have videoed it but as per normal by the time i took the roof off and started to scrape, scrape the silicon off it started to rain 
Um, I'm not going to go no further. I'm not going to stick any stick the floor back up and seal it and put the ceiling back up yet. Um, because obviously I want to make sure it doesn't leak. But my van. Oh my god, look. So I'm just going to clean up and get organised the best I can. Um, and yeah, hopefully now it won't leak. I've got a new frame and new sealed. I use this. Um, but bitch, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It's spelled B U T Y L. But bitrol, bitrol tape. It's like a tar or bitumen, but on a roll. And I put quite a few layers around it. So I'm hoping that it should be sealed quite well. But we will find out very shortly because this is Britain, and it always rains in Britain. Now to clean the mess up. Well, hopefully that's it sorted now. I won't know until it rains. So let's hope it rains soon so I can get my van back in some order. But until then, I'll let you know on the next one. Be good and be lucky. Take care all. Bye bye.